Bueno, we invite now to uh, Giuliano Pisapia, the Sindaco di Milano, per favore. Urban food policy pack the commitment of mayors for sustainable and equable global food system. È così. <laughs> Grazie. Ma, grazie innanzitutto per l'invito e per la vostra presenza. Thank you. Thank you very much for your invitation. And I am extremely committed to our community, to our city, to our global community. And I see that there is a, a shared approach and common issues lead us to develop uh, an exchange based on uh, best practices. And I uh, appreciated the invitation to take off our ties, as the mayor of Madrid um, invited us to do. This is a small gesture, but it can actually um, help us uh, uh, in our struggle to save our planet. However, uh, because of institutional contexts, uh, um, we're not always uh, free to do as uh, we wish. Anyway, I also observed uh, that uh, there are many things that we share. And I'm referring in particular to the governor of California's uh, remarks uh, when he mentioned uh, um, a great Italian uh, who founded the Italian Communist Party. Gramsci said that we need the pessimism of reason and the optimism of will. And this immediately brought to mind another aspect. Um, please forgive me if I make reference to another aspect. Uh, it is extremely important for believers and non-believers alike, for people of different faiths, to share the same uh, objective. And in this connection, I would like to quote what Pope Francis, uh, when uh, he received um, a group of mayors. After a very intense meeting, he looked at us uh, and said, and I quote, you see, when I go home in the evening, and this is wonderful to hear the Holy Father say what he does when he goes home at the end of the day. And he said, when I go home at the end of the day, I think back to what I've done and I feel happy. I think of what I wish I had done, but was unable to do or did not manage to do or was not allowed to do. He didn't say that, mind you, but I think of you mayors and I imagine that it's the same for you. Well, it is. It is indeed. That's exactly how we feel. And this is why it's important to have opportunities to exchange our experiences and uh, to uh, engage with those who might be in different uh, situations but uh, who share the same dialogue. And this is why I would like to say, dear friends, dear mayors, because we have to work together in a very concrete, pragmatic way to successfully tackle the problems uh, of our to use our experience to uh, teach others, but at the same time, we must be prepared to learn from others. And this is why I talk about my city, the city of Milan, which I represent. And this obviously is a big commitment, but it also fills me with pride. We're here to talk about the future of uh, humankind, the future of our planet. And we increasingly see that unless we act together, irrespective of whether we are believers or non-believers, or as my archbishop says, people who believe they don't believe, because that is indeed another issue. Uh, and at times, this makes me wonder. Anyway, we have to understand that cities can really 
change things. We have to show our ability to change. And we see this um, at an international level when governments are, are unable to communicate. Cities continue to communicate. Cities keep open that dialogue through the diplomacies of cities that help us overcome problems and continue to engage with others and, as a consequence, make progress. And mayors, day in, day out, have to solve problems. They have to solve concrete problems. So in thanking the organizers of this event, I would like to stress that this is an extremely important opportunity for us. You see, we only too often talk to people who are like-minded, and we forget that there can be other possibilities uh, coming from those who might not necessarily um, see things the way we do, but can nonetheless contribute to uh, this exchange. Mine has been a complex life. I was and once again might be a lawyer, and I've always uh, worked in the field of human rights around the world and in Italy, and with all the that this has, has. I've always focused on the rights of the weakest members of societies. As many of you, I was a volunteer, and I remember in particular when I was in Parliament, I was a member of Parliament for, for 10 years, in fact, when in Parliament we voted, I voted against, we voted for military intervention in the Kosovo. And I failed to see who was right. And that's why I decided to spend 15 days away from Parliament, and I went to a refugee camp in the Kosovo. Well, that experience was fundamental. It gave me a first-hand opportunity to see things for myself, as we've heard from the victims in their addresses. Sometimes we fail to understand what it can be like for people. That's why I chose to have that experience. And that is why we need to continue to focus on best practices. Allow me to say that we have not revolutionized things in Milan. We have not uh, defeated evil. Uh, we have not um, succeeded in becoming an earthly paradise. But there have been some changes, and these changes are important because, uh, as other mayors before me have said, change can come step by step. Even small changes can make the difference, especially for people who have lost all hope. Milan is a city that cares deeply about human rights, irrespective of their religion irrespective of the color of their skin or irrespective of their gender or sexual orientation, even though this is something that is divisive. Milan is a crossroads of different peoples, cultures, religions, where interfaith dialogue, intercultural dialogue is vibrant. And this has enabled us to respond effectively to a huge problem. There are 70,000 uh, refugees uh, in transit, mostly from Eritrea and Syria. Men, women, children, entire families who, over the last year or so, have landed um, uh, in Milan, have arrived in Milan. Uh, in Milan at our central station in many cases. And some said that we had to chase them out and certainly not help them in any way. Well, we decided, on the other hand, to do things differently. We brought together active citizens, volunteers, secular and church organizations. We have tried to bring all these resources to bear upon this issue, and we've given all these people a shelter, and we even uh, gave children some toys bringing 
a smile to their faces. And I say this because it is only if we act as one that we can succeed. No one must feel alone. No mayor can ignore the plight of those who have been abandoned by everyone else. And this is something that uh, goes beyond the issue of consensus. This is a matter of ethical importance. Uh, consensus should not be what drives us. Honest people understand this. Good people will understand this. And there are only a few concrete points that I would like to make, starting uh, with uh, the uh, C40. We know that a huge challenge has uh, been uh, put to us. Cities in the north, in the south, in the east, and the west have accepted to uh, join this common effort uh, to um, fight hunger. We have uh, uh, reduced uh, uh, food waste by 30 percent in the schools uh, we and hospitals uh, and those who are housebound elderly citizens. Uh, 98,000 meals are served and we've cut waste by 30 percent on the 16th of October. We invite you all to join us uh, in a concrete uh, initiative uh, so that we can uh, um, meet one of our goals. I know you'll be there with us. Thank you once again for this wonderful initiative. Thank you. And it's also an opportunity to visit uh, uh, the Milan Expo, which is by the way.